G'day CogDog. Okay, amazing stories about open sharing of content. Okay, I haven't been putting stuff online nearly as long as you or the fella from Penn State. Sorry mate, can't remember your name, but I did watch it. Um, I started blogging in 2004, around about the time that Google bought Blogger and uh, turns out I had a few things to say which seemed to resonate with a few people. But at the same time, I was also putting on my blog how to do the things that I was learning how to do at the time. And, uh, and that was useful to other people. And the real point about that is that by putting that sort of content on my blog and other places, and that being useful to other people, and then those other people mentioning me on their blogs or commenting on my blogs or sending me links to stuff led to con you know initial connections which through time have developed into quite powerful connections such as you know the friendship I have with you uh, and that leading to collaboration on a few projects like well this one just just off the off the bat there and uh, work with the NMC when you're in Melbourne uh, things like that and you know like the guy at Penn State uh, a lot of my work or employment opportunities have been a result of just sharing stuff online and making uh, what I do quite openly available. And it's it's really openness in every sense of the word, isn't it? It's really just, you know, people can access um, the things that I'm doing. They can access, you know, I put up funding applications, I put up my thoughts about the, f the results of the funding applications, I put up plans and papers and notes and how I'm feeling all those sorts of things and I think that leads to a sense of authenticity in people about who I am and likewise I get a sense of authentic understanding to some degree about who they are and that leads to trust and further openness and then naturally you know one thing is uh, is employment opportunities and collaboration on projects uh, sharing of um, other resources and and, uh, and frank and open conversations so yeah, openness, I don't know if that's an amazing story or anything like that, but to me, that whole thing is just amazing that it's facilitated through the internet. Um, by putting stuff openly online, I've been able to connect with people who I might not have been able to connect with locally simply because the local population isn't big enough, there aren't enough people who are interested in the same things as I'm interested in, so you know, if I didn't have the internet and open, openness, where would I be? I wouldn't be doing this sort of stuff, I guess. Uh, but thanks to the internet, thanks to people's openness, I've been able to explore the things that I'm actually interested in and go further with those sort of things. So I guess that's an amazing story in itself, is that thanks to that, I've been able to do the things that I like doing. All right, see you, mate.